they say of this horse that he is mentally disturbed. I refuse to believe that horses can be mentally disturbed because I know that, that when they show normal behavior for themselves that they all have a chance. I've been working with this horse for six weeks now and to you it might seem like nothing. Uh, small steps, just a horse following you, which makes very good sense because all horses follow humans. But if I told you the story of this horse and I tell you that from the beginning he was shaking and he was running away from, from every movement and he was so hysterical that he couldn't uh, be normal in next to people. After six weeks now we have been practicing uh, just normal behavior just just friendship lunging and i was i have to admit that I, there were several moments that i thought i'm not sure if i can help this horse anymore but then all of a sudden he actually gives his heart to me in in this field and he's eating calmly he's, he's somehow playing a few days ago he started to wiggle with his head, which is a sign of, of, of playful. And that made me, that gave me an entrance. And as you can see now, he is calmer, he's watching me, but he's not standing in the corner with his tail funny, uh, holding funny. How come that this horse can, uh, can change? Well, it's, it's, actually it's very easy, it's the brain which does it. it the hippocampus is the part of the, the capacity of the learning part and the hippocampus is the part where uh, animals, horses, people and all animals who have to learn in their life are learning. That's where new brain cells have been made and that's exactly what uh, this horse is done but not only new connection and uh, not only new uh, brain cells but also connections there also has to be have to be new connections to make sure that it all works that's what happened that's what happened to this guy he's learned now to have new connections have a new relationship within humans um, I was pretty sure that he had a, got a chance because he was acting, acting very normal with other horses. If he wouldn't have been normal towards other horses, then the chance would have been that he was mentally disturbed. But as I say, I don't believe any horse is mentally disturbed, especially not this, this Pura Raza Española. They are, they are very pure horses. Um, people bred them for ages, for, for hundreds of years, and now in Spain and, and well, they have characters, they, have, they are very high sensitive, that's for sure, they, they notice everything. But mentally disturbed, I don't, never saw a horse which was really mentally disturbed, but I saw many, many horses who were made crazy. Not because of who they are, but because of the training of people. Even though people mean very well, and I don't want to blame anybody uh, for, for, for damaging this, this guy, but I do know, and uh, if you might have seen the other movies, I do know that this horse has been damaged. They have been using training methods which don't fit with this horse. As a crown to, to my work, I'm going in, I'm going in the field. It's not a very big field, but I hope to show you that, that this horse really has made new connections in his brain. Um, he has removed his, his old, and that's what I was doing. I was wanted to break the old system and rebuild uh, the new, new uh, behavior. I couldn't have done it without searching the point of, of now you're showing problems. Some problems I have uh, on video, but some problems I don't uh, have on video. Like for instance, one of the, the methods was to put him uh, on the wall with a, with a short uh, chain of 50 centimeters and just let him stand there so he couldn't run away. If a horse can move his head too much, he can run away. He couldn't. So he had to deal with it. And then I was walking next to him, touching him softly. Uh, and just let him watch the work I did with the other horses. Well, I think all steps helped. 
Um, so now I'm going to show you that he, he, he really has made new connections. And if you, I'm going to focus in on his face, you can see he's very careful. Unfortunately, when I'm in there, I cannot um, zoom in. Now I can. You will see he's, 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 he's just acting very normal for a horse. He's just taking, t looking at, at, at me in this case. He likes me and that's very very nice. So that's a present I, uh, he gave me. He likes me, that helps. If he didn't like me, he wouldn't do what he will show now. So I'm going to zoom out so I can step in.
I zoom in because he used to shake all over when he was contacting humans. And now he's curious. He's eating his part of the slice of apple. He's calmer and that makes me very proud of him. So you can see now he's standing, well, as you can see from the camera, he's only standing for about a meter away. And he looks calm, he looks happy, he looks like a horse. This is not a disturbed horse. This was a horse which was made afraid, afraid of humans. And that is something I blame on people who, who didn't know what to do and who just did something without knowing why. If I call him back, you will see he turns around because he really wants to be friends with, with humans. This is a behavior he still has um, when he's insecure, when he's doubting, when he's scratching. He's like a child <laughs> stamp, um, putting his leg on the floor and he's, he's scratching on the floor because he's insecure. Of course, horses don't always do what you <coughs> what you want, and that makes me uh, that makes me proud because I can see that he's still just a normal horse. He's, he's very normal. He's when he's uh, not interested anymore, he just stops. He just goes away. This is not disturbed horse. This is a normal horse which was made afraid.